Hi and welcome to another video about Dabuka, about playing Dabuka. This time it will be about uh, the physical aspects because some people ask me if I uh, experience pain from playing Dabuka. And of course it's a physical activity, it can happen. So um, let me start with the fingers. So me personally, I never had problems with pain in my fingers, but uh, a lot of beginner, beginners, um, they uh, they complain about pain in the fingers. Actually, I don't believe it's it's real like uh, strong pain. It's just they are not used to the pressure or the bloodstream in the hands, you know. And also, the, maybe the technique is not so clean, and so they hit a lot of the, the rim and you know and um, make some mistake that they they feel their fingers. Okay. They are not used to the pressure, actually. So if you have a correct technique, which you should uh, really learn, you know, uh, with the teacher or in my book, Drum Pilot for the Buka, you can find uh, a lot of uh, very, very helpful instructions for the position of your hands, which um, yeah should assure uh, you uh, a, a good technique. So I can understand if you play Clay Buka and you play the kick, on the rim of the drum, um, and you use you the joint of your fingers because here's the bone, you know. And if you if you hit the the clay with the bone, um, then you will uh, get hurt um, over time. Yeah, so you should use the tip of the finger, the fleshy tip. Okay, it's also possible to achieve the the same quality of kick sound here. Yeah, just it's uh, more healthy for your fingers. Um, then I experienced for myself uh, pain in the uh, shoulder, but it's it's not really uh, pain, it's more like a uh, sore. Mm -hmm. So if you play a lot of uh, sessions with your friend and you accompany uh, for a long time in very fast tempo, for example with the um, uh, Falahi or double time Maksum, uh, it happened to me in the beginning that uh, I had a uh, here. I, I felt my shoulder, um, but you can uh, avoid it uh, in um, using your your wrist to play fast tempos. It's 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 um, a lot more efficient to to use your wrist in fast tempos because if you play fast, you have to uh, do smaller movements. Okay, so um, when I play fast. It's not so exhausting because I just move my hand, okay? It doesn't have to be very loud because you're a company and you know, don't play louder than the soloist. So actually, you don't have to use your shoulder when you play fast, okay? Sometimes you have to, yes, when you solo fast or something, when you just play uh, a lot, you know, um, you will feel it. And then it's just a matter of training. So this instrument is a, you know, there's a physical aspect to it. And um, depending on the style you want to, to play, uh, yeah, you, m you might just uh, have uh, to, you might just um, train a bit, you know, play regularly and um, don't stop after five minutes. Yeah? Like uh, extend your sessions, try to play half an hour, one hour, two hours without interruption. Yeah, if you have the motivation. Of course, breaks um, are are important, but you have to know your form and your body. You know, just be aware, feel your body, and decide when to make a break. Okay, uh, a, a three minute break can uh, can really bring a lot. Okay, it's very important to to relax if you. If you have a lot of tension from playing, yeah. But also, when you play, you should try um, to find out where is tension and if this tension is really necessary in order to play what you want to play. Okay. Um, then uh, a big issue for me was pain in the neck and the upper back. And um, what helped me a lot for this is um, uh, posture, like straight back. It's very important and also to stretch the upper um, upper part here and with this exercises i 
put my arms behind my back and lift my arms <laughs> it helps very good and also um, I uh, in, in the breaks I, I keep my head moving like this I exercise this very aware movement just to to have a good uh, movement here and to, to stay mobile here not to get too stiff because it's somehow this shoulders got very stiff also to stretch your arms like this and then also look in the palm of your hand and turn the head yeah it will mobilize this this part very well uh, speaking of stretching you could stretch your fingers like this and this direction yeah you can use the drum for this or your leg this is very very beneficial because um, if you stretch your your strings here um, you reduce the resistance of, m of movement okay so you get just more more agile yeah so uh, stretching is a, is, a, is a very very uh, useful uh, thing to do and also yeah to to know your body and to be aware where is tension and uh, when i do have to make a break for myself to to, s to stay stay comfortable but also don't get too comfortable you know uh, try to to extend the time of your playing like see it a little a uh, little sporty yeah like um, it's a physical thing so you have to train your muscles and over time you try to to expand the, the time you're playing okay uh, it feels very good if you if you so i hope uh, these tips help you uh, to to stay healthy <laughs> and to have uh, to have fun in your practice sessions and extend the time of your your playing uh, without pain